Judy Latavo here from the Clothing Bee in Maslin, Ohio, and I am here with Block 10 of Riley Blake's Block Design cha Challenge, and this week it is Follow the Leader. Follow the Leader by Sue Daly, and I have selected my fabrics. So this is what I am going with. I am going, sort of following their, pl their plan. Uh, my two contrasting greens going into a yellow and white and then around to a pink and white. And then my two contrasting fabrics with my center, which is going to be my handy dandy common denominator. So these are all, except for our center, half square triangle. Well, no, they're all flying geese, aren't they? I tend to look at half square triangles and when they're together, I equate them with a flying goose. And Amanda has corrected me. So I will try to be more accurate in the future. I think you all knew what I was saying. But anyway, uh, these are the fabrics I'm going to go with. And I'm going to cut them out and create my geese and be back with them laid out in the appropriate placement, I hope. So we'll see how it goes. Hope you are having a good a good run with yours. This is a very fairly busy pattern, so we'll see how long it takes me to cut these out and get them all sewn together. Hopefully not too long. So I shall see you soon. I am back. Didn't think I'd make it. Uh, last week we had five grandchildren and their parents here, so it was a sort of uh, catch as catch can to get up here to do anything. And so Monday and Tuesday of this week was change beds and do laundry. Yesterday, we picked up our little Havanese puppy. And so she uh, needed some time. Uh, we're doing well. We are forging ahead. You may hear her in the background because she is having to spend time in her play yard. Since I am up here and Philip is on a project and we can't be watching her. So um, she's learning a lesson here that we can't be with her every minute. But back to following the leader. This has been a real cross to bear for me. I had my pieces cut out in our last get together. And um, in one of the little breaks that I stole last week, I drew my lines and sort of started piecing, but didn't get very far. Had another break and I came up and continued to piece these flying geese. I know I've been calling the half square triangles flying geese. I know that those are half square triangles, but when you put them together, they look like a goose. So there you are. And I may have mentioned that before. It's just sort of a, sort of right there in the back of my mind. But else, what else was in the back of my mind was the fact that I looked at those lines that I had drawn on the two and a half inch squares and place them on the rectangles and then proceeded to seam a quarter inch on either side of the line. I did that for half of all of the 12 because I was doing them all at the same time. And when I realized what I had done, I took out those seams 
and then realized. So on the line, not on the line, a scant away from the line. Scant. Nowhere on this seems so easy does it have the word scant. Nor does my machine have any markings scant. So I knew I was on my own on this scanting project. And then I came to on the inside, be scant on the inside. Which inside? That inside or this inside? I chose the wrong inside. Took those seams out. And I now know, and you may all know this, I'm, I'm the only one that's never done many flying geese may never do any more unless I have to for this. The inside means toward the center of the rectangle. I maybe should have been able to figure that out. Uh, I maybe should have been able to do a lot of things that I so, don't seem to be doing these days. So I did finally figure it out and I did finally get pardon me, all of my geese flying. So here they are. I am so proud. I can hardly tell you. So they are all going in the direction they should be going. I have double checked that against the diagram. And they all measure two and a half by four and a half, which leads me to another tip. Take it for what it's worth. I learned that I don't want to trim off this excess fabric until I have verified that it is two and a half by four and a half. Because if I have already trimmed this off, it's going to be very difficult to redo it to where it will measure correctly. Short of cutting out more fabric and I don't want to do that. So I left this on to describe to you, to show you what I meant. So here we are. I am now going to seam it together according to the directions, which is seaming these three, these two, these two sections, these two, this with this one, these two, this grouping with this, these three join now this, that is the two, and then leaving me with one seam across the top. I have my fingers crossed, and I would appreciate you doing it too. I'm going to try to get this done and get back to you in just a few minutes. It is finished. Here we are, all sewn together, Measuring what it's going to measure. I am no longer worrying about 10 and a half. I think I know what I'm going to do. We'll see about that. But it's all put together and it came together okay, except for not being 10 and a half. Uh, I can't say it's one of my favorite, but it is finished and we'll see what next week brings. See you then.